Hey everybody, welcome to part 14 of Gundam Seed, Rango vs Zaf. So it seems that we only have one mission for us to do right now, so let's go and try it out. And um, let's try a different mobile suit, why not? It seems that the mission level is only 3. The thing about it is, whenever I play this game, I feel like if the mission level is 3 or below, I would play as any other mobile suit. But if it's 4 or 5, I either play as the Blast Impulse or the Destiny Gundam. Because some of these missions can really, really freaking piss you off. So I'm bringing the Force Impulse for this one. The Force Impulse, um, I could bring it to a 4 star mission, but I rarely do that. Because the thing about it is, um, when I'm in a 4 star mission, chances are they're gonna give a bunch of enemies and I want as many enemy at knockdown as possible and when I mean knockdown it mean that they lying on the ground so I can target another one and kill them off because some of these enemies some of the mission they can be can be really annoying when three enemies trying to attack you and uh, and and you get knocked out or something and you have a target moving or some crap like that so my recommendation for you is if you see a level 4 or level 5 mission bring in any mobile suit that can do a trash excuse me a charge shot because a trash shot will immediately knock down enemy and render them render them useless for a few moments so you can take on the next one because like the force impulse here my problem with it is that it doesn't have a charge shot so when I want to get somebody knocked out you need three beam shots to do so and the beam itself reload pretty slowly so that's the problem so yeah if it's a hard mission, do not bring in the force impulse nor the uh, the sword impulse. You asking for trouble, seriously? Or if you're a pro, you probably could do it. But and again, I'm not a pro. So I'm about to die. Ah. Thing it took too long to charge. That damn thing escaped me. You screwed up, bro. You shouldn't have been there. So yeah, bring in any mobile suit that can't charge a shot, because it can really, really save you. The uh, force impulse is not a really, really good choice at all. It's terrible. Or if you want to play as force impulse, by all means, go right ahead. But me? Holy crap. Heck no. Um, what mission is this? This is a mission level 4. Um, I could bring in the Plast or Destiny. No, no, let me bring in Plast Impulse and see what happened. And I think the Plast Impulse, normally I like to pair it with power. So I should have changed it to power at the beginning, but I didn't. So if some crap happened, then it's totally me. See, this is why I, I like the Blast Impulse. It can knock down the enemy in one hit and um, keep him, keeping him busy for a little bit so I can attack the other one. So yeah. I think I'm gonna. S if, uh, I said bring in the. Uh, I'm not sure, but to me, some of the four level star missions are pretty easy. They are not that hard. So maybe I'm just over saturating it. <laughs> maybe. Shoot! I'm gonna. I'm screwing up at the very beginning. So that's not good. Some of these dang mission can really, really screw me over. 
The slack is so... Well, there's the Eterno. Alright, here come the stupid black Tri-Star, or what the frick their name is. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, I'm gonna get destroyed very, very soon. And I'm out of bullet. Okay, I'm not gonna make it. Like I said, this damn mission is annoying. The black tri stars, shit. I have so much trouble with them in the last part with a Destiny Gundam along. Shoot! Dang it, screwing up in the beginning. Can really freak you up. Well, like I said, I'm not a really good player in the first place. I'm just playing this game for fun. <laughs> Jeez. Dang it, I forgot to change power again. Good lord. So, the thing about... The thing about some of these things, I know there are pro... Pro players out there that can really che that can really know what to do with the game. But, um, whenever I play these games and it have unlimited boost, I, I feel like, I don't feel like coming close to enemy and melee them. I feel like beam spam because, um, when I play the stage normally, boost will run out eventually, eventually, right? And when it's ran out, they only have a uh, few choices. One, they have to fall down. The other one is they're going to attempt to attack you and when they attempt to attack you and if they miss well they are open for you to attack so when they are open like that I usually try and melee them but in, in limited boost I never knew what they are going to do so it's a little bit tougher for me <laughs> actually to uh to try and melee in an unlimited boost because well I'd rarely maybe if I die again I'll just bring a destiny Gundam because screw this pisses me off <laughs> I'm ashamed to say that I know the series for freaking what 10 years and I'm still suck at it oh well I'm just a mediocre player I guess So my target is the Eternal, so I'll just kind of leave him alone because when I try to attack him, last I check, I would, but you know what? I'll drain the Eternal health all the way down. So if I'm in danger, then I'll attack it and win the the the, the mission that way. I mean, you could attempt to fight them, but with your limited amount of health. I don't want to do that. Besides, I think if you attempt to fight them, then you gonna lose the mission because as you can see, even though I was constantly attacking the Eterno, it still managed to fly all the way almost to the exit. So I guess for that mission, you shouldn't be attacking the three at all. You should be attacking the Eterno. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go on to Lacus mission. Um, that's a level 2. You know what? Let me bring in a sword, the sword impulse and see what happened. Like I said, I still want my friendship level with Efren to be maximum. So, I'll just keep on bringing him to back to my side. You know, because you want to get on the good side of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Watch it! Because apparently Obi-Wan Kenobi's favorite uh, hobby is to scoot up young Sith Lord. And, and, and Darth Vassar, Vassar, V-A-S-O-R. I wonder how I want to pronounce it. 
Vasor Vassor. You know what? I'll just call him Lord Vassor. And Lord Vassor, right here, is a young, young Sith Lord. And so, I don't want... So, if you don't want to get first, get cut in half, or get burned to death, you better get on the good side of Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Because, like I said, Obi-Wan Kenobi's favorite, favorite hobby is to scoot up young Sis Lord. So yeah, I'm not gonna let Aphrin die though. Um, let me check my friendship level with him. Ah, I thought it was the last one. Crap. I can't believe I screwed that up. Alright, who's next? Oh, crap. It's this. Oh, no! Ah, oh, crap. Damn it, Adrian! What? This is supposed to be a level 2 mission and I screwed up. I can't believe I did that. I, I guess I'm not as good at the game as I thought I would be. Shit. Dang, come it. Okay, I know there are some people out there that play the game and never lose. Well, you're a professional. You are a god at this game because holy crap. I cannot play this game and not lose. Stop the mission, it's really, really tough. Watch it! <laughs> what? What? How much damage this freaking piece of crap does? He's only have a little bit of. And then he already told me that he's in trouble? Come on. Or maybe if you. If you play the game really bad, then your partner will be in trouble as well. Over here, Kagali, I'll freak you up. Watch it! So, um, I know there's some combo that you can use. I'm not really sure. I cannot do combo unless... Watch it! <laughs> Anyway, I cannot do combo unless I'm in speed and I'm not in speed All right here come Kira Yamato. I can hear it in the background Who's that? Damn you That gum it Kira I have to kill Kira first all right, I'm gonna lose. Yes, I made it. <laughs> Break you, Kira. I'm a Kira fan, by the way. Just I don't understand why he can survive all that crap. So, um, I was totally wrong. I guess. If you, even if your friends die, they will still have their relationship level increase. But I'm not sure by how much though. Let me see. Um, not much. That messed up. But oh well. Anyway, let's go on to the next Lacus mission. You know what? If I'm by myself, I might as well bring in a Destiny Gundam because I might get my butt kicked really, really hard. So all the mission from now on gonna be really really tough I think no matter what star or mission they are So and besides I know most players gonna bring in the Destiny Gundam from now on or I haven't watched anything yet so I I could be wrong who knows Let me try and shoot oh down nope Alright, we have a target and it's the Eternal that we have to take down. So, yeah. 
Hey, look, someone bringing in a Destiny Gundam. Crap! It's only beginning and I already screwed up. It's Andrew right there. Sometimes I can, like, tell them by their voice, I think. <clears throat> so, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, Lord Vassor here. Vassor. Hey, come it. I need to finalize a way to say his name. Is it Vassor or Vassor or what? Um, it's gonna be Lord Vassor. Look! This is Lacus Rebellion. Look how heavily armed they are. Those terrorist scum. No, I mean, rebel scum, terrorist scum. <laughs> They're trying to interrupt the order of the world. I cannot forgive them. How dare they? Rebel scum, terrorist scum. <laughs> oh crap, I said a T word, didn't I? I just called him a rebel scum. So even though this mission is three stars, it seems unforgiving already. I don't know what the heck are they talking about when they say it's a three stars mission. <laughs> if you think this is hard, I think there's gonna be a lot tougher and tougher one at the very very end, especially for the faith mission. Holy crap. I played this game when I was a little kid and the faith mission gave me nightmare when I tried them before. They are so tough, I hated them. And I'm not gonna fight Atron, I just got my relation back, relationship back with him. Like I said, I try to have many Atron mission with me as I can. See, this is not a freaking 3 star mission folks. It's a 4 star! That's total BS. You see how many uh, crap you have to endure for a 3 star mission? This is not a 3 star mission. I swear to Bob, it's not a 3 star mission. <laughs> okay, so one good thing about this game is that there's no cost over if you know, if you remember correctly, if you played the newer game at all, there's a cost over system. So, I assume if I die right there, my health probably got reduced to 200 or something. It's that bad. Um, see you all in the next part. その軍服をまとった誇りがまだその身にあるのなら。